Hi, this is Marquis Crew. Welcome to my channel. If you're not a subscriber, please do subscribe. I'm also the curator of the Crew Macros, which you can find at chaosreignswithin.com, and that's where we'll find the source of today's uh, video. Uh, parallel block until done. So if you've ever found yourself wanting to try to write to the same Excel file and have challenges with this file is currently in use messages, uh, that could be frustrating. So to avoid that challenge and to be able to create a controlled write to Excel, we can configure a parallel block until done so that you write to the January file before you write to the February file, you write to the uh, Alaska file before you write to the Wyoming a sheet within the same file. Uh, so in configuring this, what we're going to do is basically look at it, the data coming into it as do this and then do that. So I've got two examples here. We're going to close the second example and run multiple sheets. So I've got data coming in and I want to make sure that that data processes before the next series comes through. This isn't going to assure you, though, that data from one actually gets written to uh, the Excel sheet first before the second. Sometimes you'll have, say, uh, 10,000 records here and two records here. It is possible that you're going to uh, run out of sequence in the writing of the data, in which case you may want to put some sort of a tool beneath here to slow this one down again. But in this simple example, we've got data that's coming out and we're going to read the Massachusetts data and then the Rhode Island data. And we'll see down here in the way that the ordering is done for the outputs that we wrote the Massachusetts data and then we wrote the Rhode Island data. And if I open up the data in Excel, uh, what would happen is you're going to see that the data comes out in the order of Massachusetts and then Rhode Island. So that is the configuration in a nutshell. You just data from one goes through and then data from two goes through. If you wanted to uh, have more data coming through, there are more than two states in the U.S., you could configure this in a way where you chain these together. You can also use this in combination with other tools. In this case, I've got a wait a second macro here. So what it's going to do is it's going to take the Massachusetts data or the Rhode Island data, and we're going to bring that through this, and then we're going to wait a second Wow, a bonus. You're seeing a second crew macro here. Uh, the wait a second macro is going to wait five seconds after the data comes through here, and then it's going to feed the record into a dynamic input tool. And here we're just going to be able to browse that data. We'll play that workflow, and you'll see how quickly this data starts writing. And then it waited its five seconds before reading in this new data and updating this browse. Hope that this parallel block until done tool serves you well. Have a great day.